right. Uh, I'm Nick Moffitt, and I'm on the Navy side. Group. And um, as I uh, stated earlier, that I said that dependence was not formed by um, uh, when starting to drink earlier. Um, the Mothers Against Drunk Driving are mad. Also, uh, they say that uh, the younger you start to drink, the early, they just say where the younger you start to drink, the more likely dependence has grown. And um, the Substance Abuse and Mental Health Services Administration uh, says people reporting first use of alcohol before age 15 more than five times more likely to, to have past your alcohol dependence or abuse compared with people who first use alcohol at age 21 or older. Um, she then goes on to say that uh, the privileges, like uh, being able to vote or um, go, go to war at 18, but you can't drink at 18. But uh, drinking is a total different subject than voting or going to war. It's drinking puts, um, if you go behind the wheel, puts other people at danger or even just being intoxicated in public, like people don't act themselves. Um, fighting, uh, a study uh, done by alcoholics says that 30% of traffic de deaths are a result of drunk driving. Uh, voting too much and driving won't kill someone, but drinking too much would, or it can, can result in uh, death. Um, she brought up the minimum drinking age of, uh, Act of 1984, which is it doesn't state that, um, it gives the, every state a chance to set their own drinking age. And if it's below 21, there's a 10% uh, federal higher funding, as stated by my partner. Um, that's because a study done by uh, Matt says there's one fifth of fatal accidents are by youth, which are like 21 and younger. 60% of those were under intoxication. And only uh, the youth only have to uh, make up 9% of all driven miles. So let's say it's trying to prevent um, young, younger people from driving drunk, this law. And the reason that, as my partner said, the taxes on um, highway funding to discourage uh, drunken driving. Uh, since that law has been passed, it's been, it's been a huge help for um, traffic fatalities. Um, Vermont State uh, has reported there's been 40, there's been a 40% reduction in fatal traffic accidents since the um, Minimum Drinking Age Act of 1984. Um, the law simply prohibits um, people from uh, purchasing in public possession. It has there's many uh, circumstances where you can drink under 21 but it's mainly just to prevent people from uh, drinking and driving. Uh, she said that uh, during the prohibition, the, that, like, that's a totally different subject also. It's uh, completely good, we're not suggesting that you should, or complete good alcohol would, um, as in history, like it, it started up gangs and stuff like that. But uh, they're saying uh, just lowering to 18, which which has already been tried in 29 states during Vietnam, and there's a significant amount of um, alcohol-related fatalities and traffic fatalities during that time. Um, so as my partner brought up, uh, development in the brain um, the human brain isn't fully developed to the age of 25, and uh, according to uh, Mothers Against Drunk Driving, and they, um, the teen brain is uh, largely simulated more than the um, adult brain during that time, and uh, the uh, part of the brain that the alcohol affects is the um, <laughs> decision making like part of it. Our emotional um, part of our brain is built at the age of five, but not fully till 25. So the alcohol can affect a lot of your decision making skills, which is a lot more dangerous than your emotional. Um, the American Medical Association reports that the brain goes through dynamic chain change during adolescence and alcohol can seriously damage long and short term uh, growth processes. Uh, 
Uh, there's a study that on adolescents, like uh, in school, adolescents compared to some who drank uh, before, I guess 12, and the compared to non-drinkers and how they did in school. Um, the study showed that adolescents who drank compared to the non-drinkers scored lower on vocab, general information, memory, and memory retrieval, had worse verbal and non-verbal recall, had significant uh, neuro, neurophysical, uh, neuropsychological, uh, the the uh, deficits, uh, perform worse in school, um, they have disrupted sleep cycles which messes up like development, and they have uh, an increased re uh, risk of stroke. So being able to have, as my partner said, having kids be able to access alcohol earlier uh, would put even younger kids at higher risk because they would have more of a chance to get it. Um, one of the big uh, risks with lowering the drinking age is uh, drunk driving and uh, According to the National Highway Traffic uh, Safety Administration, so the traffic fatalities um, have been reduced by 13% and have saved 19,121 lives since uh, 1975, which is, that's when, about the time uh, Mothers in, Against Drunk Driving started and around the time the uh, drinking age was lowered. So a lot of the, uh, a lot of lives have been saved because of this uh, law that reduces drug driving, or reduces uh, the drinking age. And, uh